So what we do is what we call swim survival, so ABC swim survival. The premise is, of course, that if a, a child uh, falls into the water, they should be able to save themselves and get out of the water by themselves. So be able to float, uh, uh, swim, get to the edge, get out of the water uh, by any means necessary, basically. And that's the skills that we teach them, uh, which also means that they have to swim with their clothes on because that's what is expected. If you do fall in the water, you're, right. of course, you're gonna have clothes on. Hi guys, welcome to our channel, P9 Mom's Blog. On this episode, Bo will talk about swimming diplomas. So if you plan to live here in the Netherlands with your kids, or you plan to have kids someday and you're living here in the Netherlands, or if you yourself are just interested to know what swimming diplomas A, B, and C is all about, then this video is for you. So what are the swimming diplomas and why are they needed here? So to prepare for this video, I asked my husband Po uh, to answer some of my questions or some of our questions because he's one of the volunteers at the swimming school uh, where our kids go to here in our neighborhood. And also he's finishing up his course to be a licensed swimming instructor. So first let's ask him, what is the difference between diploma A, B and C? Uh, well, the difference mostly is some of the types of swimming that they have to do. So they have to have uh -huh. different exercises that they need to be uh, to complete. So uh, like for A diploma, they have to swim underwater for like three meters. For B diploma, it's like six meters. For C diploma, it's like eight meters underwater. For A, they have to be able to touch the bottom, uh -huh. like with their feet. Uh, which is usually about two meters deep. But for like C diploma, they need to actually uh, be able to dive to the bottom see. Uh, to retrieve things from the bottom. They also need to swim with clothes on for, because it's what we do is what we call swim survival. So ABC swim survival. And the premise is of course, that if a, a child uh, falls into the water, like, well, in, in the Netherlands, we have lots of water. So lots of canals, rivers, uh, uh, lakes, and so on. If they fall in, they should be able to save themselves. If you do fall in the water, you're, of right. course, you're gonna have clothes on. Yes. So, and uh, that actually is also upgraded between A, B, and C. With our first son, Paul, C. Jasper, we got the chance to watch him uh, learn how to swim uh, from Batje 1 till Batje 7, or Pool 1 till Pool 7. And then around the time when he's about to start uh, uh, preparing for his Diploma A, that's when COVID hit. So because of that, his lessons uh, started getting delayed uh, for a while. And then it was very difficult for him to mentally prepare himself back to going back to his swimming lessons uh, when it was already allowed. With a little bit of encouragement from us, he was able to finally get his diploma A and B, but we were not able to watch uh, the, the afswema or uh, what we call like to finish up with the swimming lessons, uh, which is very unfortunate. Thankfully, this time around with our second son, si Liam, nakaten naman po kami ng kanyang afswema for his diploma A. So he was a bit nervous, uh, but little did he know his actual test was the week before uh, during their practice test. But actually, yun po talaga yung kanilang uh, actual exam. They do this on purpose because they know that a lot of kids could become very anxious during an exam day and may not be able to perform well because of their nervousness. So when he got his diploma A, I was wondering what made him pass the test? I actually asked my husband, what makes a student pass for diploma A? Diploma A. Uh, yes. Diploma A is the, the, the basic level. So basically what they need to be able to do is um, uh, breaststroke. So a simple breaststroke, a uh, single a backstroke, which basically means just uh, floating on your back and only using your legs. And they need to be uh, have a rudimentary uh, 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 breast crawl and a back crawl. You just have to be able to uh, lie on the ba uh, belly and just flop around a little bit. Right. That looks like a breaststroke. And what they mostly need to do is they need to swim with their clothes on. So they need to swim with a t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt, mm -hmm. uh, shorts, uh, socks and shoes and uh, with those clothes on they need to be able to jump in the water uh, swim for like 50 meters uh, they have to be able to uh, swim 200 meters uh, with clo with clothes off so just swimming clothes to be able to dive into the water swim underwater for three meters and they have to swim through a hole in a sheet so there's a big sheet hanging in the water and there's a hole inside and they have to swim through it. So they have to go underwater, swim through the hole, come back up. And then they have to be able to uh, tread water for one minute. So uh, just hands, just feet, both, 
uh, you know, but they have to stay uh, in the same spot uh, with their head above water for at least a minute. Uh, they have to be able to, like I said, touch the bottom. So they have to be able to go underwater. And usually we do that with a, a, a pencil uh, jump or a, a just a sink. So basically after they're done treading water, they make themselves long, they put their arms together uh, and then uh, just breathe out and they just go straight underwater. So what happens now? Liam goes back to swim school uh, to get his diploma B. That's gonna be every Sunday mornings uh, at nine o'clock in the morning together with his dad. Sometimes they have what is called the kaikdag, which is literally translated as watch day, which is when parents are allowed to go inside for about 10 minutes or so, watch their kids uh, play by the pool area. And I happen to have a video blog of one of those kaikdag with my older son Jasper when he was young and Liam was only around four years old I think at that time. Don't forget to watch that video if you like by clicking on this link and also if you have any questions about swimming lessons or any comments you can write them down below in the description box and I'll ask my husband and maybe he can answer and please share this video if you do like the content of this channel also please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll do my best to create more informative videos about our life here in the Netherlands here on our channel Pinay Mom's Blogs. Until then, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe everyone. Bye for now. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more episodes of Pinay Mom's Blogs, please click on any of the links up ahead or you can subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified of our new posts every time. Thanks for watching.